Sleep, kiddo. My dad.
Dear God, why did you make me like this? I can't have friends or a boyfriend. I might be alone forever. Thanks. Amen. In my last college course, I learned about the eye eye, the nocturnal lemur with teeth that never stop growing and fingers uniquely designed to taunt and pull their prey from their homes. The eye eye lives in isolation, endangered, forgotten. I don't know why I'm back. I think I'm fucked up. Have you guys spoken since she's been in college? Sometimes, on Facebook. But you know, promising young girls like ourselves don't have time to just hang out these days. <laughs> Zoe, you're a trip. I try, Mrs. M. Well, I'm sure she'll be floored to see you. And um, how's your mom doing? She's all right. You know her, still trying to save the world one committee meeting at a time. Hey. <laughs> Well, look at you, Miss Harvard in the flesh. I'll let you two catch up. Thanks, Mom. Anytime, sweetie. Later, Mrs. M. What, I mean, do you, do you want to go outside? Yes. This place is starting to make me feel sentimental. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. You're still a bitch, huh? The cutest bitch you know. <laughs> How long have you been back? Almost two weeks. You've been back two fucking weeks and I can't even get a text or a Facebook message? I'm sorry. Look, I'm, ever since the accident, I haven't really spoken to anybody. I mean, I barely even speak to my mom, so. How'd you even find out I was back anyway? I heard those prissy Heathers talking about <laughs> you. I figure if anyone's gonna talk shit about my bitch, it can only be me. Since when did I become your bitch? The way that I see it is, I'm the only friend you've got, so it's basically like a law somewhere. Even though we didn't always talk, I get you, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, the sleepwalking has gotten worse. <laughs> Holy fuck, it! You're still walking into walls and shit? <laughs> well, this new medication they've got me on basically doesn't do shit. Pretty sure it just makes me worse. Zoe, so, let's go. We're gonna be late. Randy Adam? Wait, are you taking Randy? Oh my god, I did not see that coming. No, I'm sitting right here, right? <laughs> I gotta take off. <laughs> I'll text you later. You better. Oh. You got it? Come on. <laughs> Jordan, you need to give the knife to Mommy, okay? I'm going to take it from you nice and slow. Jordan, put the knife down. You 
don't want to do this, honey. I promise you. Trust me, sweetie. Twenty-three years old. College dropout. Volatile somnambulist. Winning. Hey, Dad, what's up? Not much, Night Stalker. Dad, if you're gonna associate me with Richard Ramirez, you can at least give me a better nickname, like the walk-in killer. Your mom's inside. I guess she got an appointment at the clinic. Great, can't wait to be a certified comatose patient. Hi, Jordan. It's been a while. How are you today? I'm well. Uh, how's Kara? I haven't seen her since graduation. Oh, she's doing great. She goes to Boston College and is studying to be a doctor like her old man. That's cool. Uh, clearly, you didn't come here to visit me. How can I help you today? Lately, the sleepwalking has been coming back. I see. It's been a few years since you experienced that, if I'm not mistaken. It's only just come back uh, after the accident. I heard. How are you handling that? Is everything going okay? I'm all right. Just um, taking it day by day. I see. You know, something as traumatic as that can really take a toll on a person. But about the sleepwalking, anything out of the ordinary happening? Uh, just the occasional nightmare here and there. I'll tell you what. I'm going to prescribe Ambient for you. Let's see if that doesn't calm down the episodes you've been experiencing lately. If you think it'll help. Yes, but Jordan, I don't mean to get into your business, but if you feel you can't talk to your parents and would like to speak to someone professionally, I can refer you to someone. No, I'm fine. I, um, I, I appreciate the offer, but honestly, I'm, I'm fine. All right, then. I'll have Gina come in and give you some paperwork. But if you change your mind, the offer is always there. Take care of yourself. I will. And Jordan, the nightmares will eventually stop. Just try to think positive, okay? You got it, Doc. I really didn't want to bring this up. But after the other night, I really think we need to talk about this. Here it comes. You said in your nightmare that you saw Jamie. Was she trying to hurt you? No, actually she was just trying to copy my biology exam. You can't blame yourself for her committing suicide. I really don't want to get into this right now. It's time we talk about it. I've been trying to stay out of your business, give you some space. Good. Don't start now. But you need to let me in, Jordan. I mean, sometimes it's good to talk about things with other people. Yeah, I know. I don't think you do. I'd be a terrible mother if I didn't bring this up. You've, you've been home for a few weeks and you're just, you're just shutting yourself out from the world. What do you want from me? Judd, what are you doing? Get back in the car. Where'd she go? She was right here. Jamie is gone, Jordan. The sooner you realize that, the better. Now get back in the car now. Don't make me say it again. You didn't see her?
I still can't believe I'm sitting with you. Is that weird? You should take a picture to mark this day in history, Zoe. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to stir up old shit or whatever, but why didn't you call me after the accident or when you got back? I don't know. Just, I'm weird as fuck right now. I'm just kind of keep to myself. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It must have been hard for you. It's okay. Except for the school's psychiatric evaluation they did on me to see if I was a danger to myself or others. Oh. Yeah, it was not my idea of a good time. I bet you got some good pills, though. Uh, just the generic shit. Pussies! I <laughs> hey, how did you find out I was back anyway? I thought I was being slick and being really under the radar. I ran into Susie fucking Bodner at the mall. <gasps> Chattiest loudmouth from this side of Woodsboro. <laughs> oh you're all the ones that talk considering you're a nutcase and you're a miserable, lonely bitch. I love you too. Yeah, uh, Thanks. why are you dating him again? It's like some days I love him and other days I just want to rip his face off. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> How have you been? I feel like I haven't seen you since. Right. Oh, um, what was it? What? Spring fling? Spring mm -hmm. fling. Gross. That was the worst night of my life. Well, one of them, anyway. If it's any consolation, uh, you would grade that night. That's what I'm supposed to do. I, I gotta keep you on your toes. So, where have you been all night? Oh, I was, uh, I was out with Zoe and Randy. Randy? Mm -hmm. I don't know what she sees in that guy. That is what I've been saying since I found yeah. out! So, how have you been since you've been back? I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know why everybody keeps checking up on me. I know you're fine, but... I'm your dad. You can tell me all this stuff that you don't want to tell your mom. Uh, she is overbearing at times. <laughs> you should see what it's like living with her. <laughs> <laughs> Even if my daughter is fucked up, <sighs> I'm happy you're here so I can escape. Oh, I see. You've been sneaking over to David's garage, drink a little moonshine. <laughs> you don't tell. And I won't tell your mom that you smell like you've had a few drinks tonight. You sipping on grandpa's old cough medicine again. Plead the fifth. Hmm. I'm happy you're back. You're gonna have to get a job. <laughs> or go back to school or eventually. But for now, I'm, I'm happy to lay off and let you breathe. Can you tell mom that? Not in this lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only scared of two things in this world, death and, well, her. Yeah, they're one and the same, huh? Yeah, <laughs> she means well. Anyway, it's gonna look weird if we go in at the same time. So you go in first and I'm gonna go take a leak in the backyard. Classy, Dad. You know it, kiddo. <laughs>
Don. Uh, where did you uh, where did you spend your honeymoon? We went down to Coronado Beach for three days. Oh, Coronado is an ideal place for a honeymoon. A beautiful hotel, gorgeous scenery, and a lovely swimming pool. Yes, that terrible thing happened, Jack. What? You forgot to take a bathing suit. Oh, that was a shame. Fine honeymoon. Pretty sure they're fucking. Hey man, what's wrong with the little uh, midnight action on the brief huh? Not poetic, what do you think? What you know about poetics? Statistics, dude. It's two plus two. Oh, so you're a scientist now, that's what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Max. Yeah, dude, what's up these two banging kids, alright? Yeah, uh, back in my place and push rooms. Now you're making sense. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, all right. Did you have another nightmare? No, Mom. I just... I just woke up in the shower and I was scared. 
You happy your daughter's a big wuss? Do you want to let me in? No, just go back to bed. I'm fine, I promise. Well, if you change your mind, just wake me up, okay? Okay, Mom. Mom's been listening to the same tape since 1983. She doesn't need to hear what it says. What if I woke up evil? What if I woke up the bad guy? What if the evil things I did were not my choice? the world understand? I feel you, man. They just don't get us. They think waking up screaming is bad. I think it's worse when it's not your screams. the praise. Fuck, dude! How long have you been there? Long enough to know that you're a shitty person to share a bed with. Such a bed hog. How did you even get in here? You know, the old Clarissa explains it all trick. I came in through the window. Seriously? No. Jeff let me in. Pretty sure he was checking out my ass. You think everybody is checking out your ass? Can't argue with that. Get dressed. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? I'm sorry. Do you have plans? <laughs> yeah, me. Plans? Downstairs in ten, Missy. <sighs> yes, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like good timing. Can I help you? Yeah. My name is Detective Moore. You guys both live here? She doesn't, but I do. Hi, I'm Jordan. Um, my lovely friend here is Zoe. Nice to meet you guys both. I was wondering, did you guys hear anything weird in the neighborhood last night between midnight and 1 a.m.? No, I left my community watch post. Had to chase down a couple of teenage hooligans over a case of beer. I appreciate your commitment. I was sleeping. What happened? Are your parents home? Yeah, one sec. Mom! Did somebody die? I bet somebody died. It was probably old man Clancy. He's been hitting the bottle a little too much, if you know what I mean. No, I haven't met him. Hi, officer. May I help you? I'll see you later, Mom. Oh, call me if you're going to be late. 
hate to intrude, uh, but I was curious to know if you heard anything out of the ordinary last night. Did something happen? I think he was just cruising by with his friend, smoking a little weed. Yeah, it's against his parole, but uh, I think he's being straight with us. All right, let's shake him loose. But tell him we'll be in touch. I want him to have the fear of the local police department in him. This is Detective Moore. He's taking the lead on this case. I only deal with you. That's our deal. Sorry, Randy. Detective Moore's got the reins on this one. What? Come on. Randy, is it? Yeah? What were you doing last night? Why'd you do it, you sick fuck? D do what? I... Oh, come hey, on, what? You, 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 you didn't think we'd find out? Yeah, your, uh, your partner in crime over there in the next room singing like a goddamn canary. Told us everything. If you're lying, I'm gonna throw you so fucking deep in that tank, you're gonna be begging to rat out Joey Lucky the fuckboy for a bag of Skittles. Oh, shit. You know you could be facing life in prison for this, right? You will be in Supermax so fast, I swear to God, you will be someone's girlfriend by tomorrow morning. Whoa, whoa. we were just smoking a little weed. Uh, you can't go to prison for that, can you? Tell me uh, about the murder, Max! Mur murder? Why? Why'd you kill him? I didn't kill anybody! Joseph Gavin, local security officer down in the, uh, the warehouse district, had a little domestic situation with your sister back in 07. Joe's dead? Fuck. I get it. Yeah, a guy like that roughs up your sister. Just a matter of time before he gets what he deserves, right? Yeah. Hey, Moore. Looks like we got our confession. Yeah, well, sounds like a confession to me. What? Hey, hope you don't mind shitting in front of other dudes, Max. No, 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 wait, wait. Okay, that, that, that's, not, that's not what I meant by that. I... Oh, what the fuck, Randy? What the fuck? So what are you doing hanging around with murder vehicle? We were just hanging out. What's hanging out? Yeah. Smoking some weed and having some fun with your friends. Right. Wrong! Possession is a felony. I'm not gonna have you throw in the tank just for walking in here. Luckily for you, you got a friend right here. This detective, for some reason, he's got your back. So with that said, I need you to tell me everything that you saw. Then you can go back home, play a little Xbox. Hey, what was the Fed doing at your door? Fed? Really? <laughs> I got a commitment to go for the streets of Ash Beast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one except you has ever called it that. I'm with her on this one. You're stupid. <laughs> you weren't saying that last night. Ah, oh, Randy, shut up! Right now, we're just looking for any help we can get. We're hoping a strong community like this can help keep us in the loop. Well, if I hear anything from any of the women in the neighborhood, I'll be sure to call. I appreciate that. You can reach me at the station at any point. Just, I can't stress this enough. Any cooperation that you can give us can definitely go a long way as far as getting us in the right direction on this thing. I just feel so bad for that young boy's parents. I can't imagine if anything ever happened to my Jordan. Uh, well, it's times like this, you got a whole family close. I couldn't agree with you more. Care for some more coffee?
someone else. So many other people in your life you pull into yourself. Tiny particles, energetic particles, wider and wider. End of side one. What's with you? Where were you last night? I was out with Zoe and Randy. What happened last night? Nothing. I was out with Zoe and Randy. That's not what I mean, Jordan. What did you do last night? Jesus, <laughs> Dad ratted me out. Ratted you out about what? Nothing happened. I was at Randy's apartment. That's all. What is with the third degree anyway? Are you mad for doing my laundry? I didn't even ask you to do it. Look inside the fucking laundry basket, Jordan. What? No. I am your mother. And if I ask you to do something, you better do it. Now look in that fucking laundry basket, please. I thought it was paint. I, I, I mean, considering I was working in the garage, I thought, oh shoot, I, I, I ruined her shirt. What, this is paint? You tell me, Jordan. What the fuck are you trying to say? No! No, no! Do you have any idea what this is, Jordan? Do you have any idea? No, I don't know. It's fucking blood, Jordan! How the fuck did you get this on this shirt? Oh, help, help me! No. Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Whose blood is it, Jordan? Whose blood is it? Tell your mother! You need to tell me if you hurt somebody! Honey, it's mom. Are you awake? Honey, I'm sorry I freaked out. I don't know what that was on your shirt. I just want to know what happened. Please don't shut me out again. Ever since Jamie died, I... Well, you've just shut out the world. I just was afraid it was going to happen again. I'm going to bed. If you want to talk, I'll be up. Just text me. Thank you.
The grass is always wet. My feet are always cold. The asphalt stings like insects as I move away from home. My mind remains at rest, another in control. Across the window, across the road.
Time for bed, baby. You've seen better days, huh, buddy? <laughs> Figured I'd run into you here? Yeah, well, you know me. Wherever there's a body, somebody's got to film it. That actually sounds a little disturbing. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when you've seen as many stiffs as this guy, it all appears normal. Maybe time for a vacation? Uh, no. I've been doing this for longer than you've been alive. Bag him and tag him. There's nothing new here, kiddo. How long do you think he's been here? How the fuck do I know? I'm not a doctor. I just take pictures of dead bodies. Wise ass. So you guys have any lead on this guy? Uh, this is murder number two, right? Yeah, that's correct. I uh, have a few suspects. No hard hits yet. Yeah, well... Sure hope you get him sooner rather than later. Yeah, you and me both. This better be fucking worth it. Wait, wait, what do you mean we have another body? Neighbors said they saw a female mid-twenties brunette around the neighborhood. meant to get off my ass today. Great. Why do I feel like this plan revolves around me? It's like I can sense it. Get out of bed, you lazy bitch. We're gonna go hiking. Since when do you hike? Well, that's changed since you've left. Get off your ass. Do I have to? Come on. We'll see the sights, take in some nature. It'll be good for us. Little girl's adventure. Where's Randy? In the other room asleep. His fat ass couldn't make it up the hill even if he tried. <sighs> well, I'm glad at least one of you is staying healthy. I'll be there in 10 minutes, bitch. See you soon. Ugh, fine, I'll go. See you soon. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's, um, it's just a cramp. That time of the month, huh? No, idiot. <laughs> I'm already regretting this. We haven't even started yet. 
And might I mention, this was your idea. <sighs> yeah, I know. I felt it was time I kept my New Year's resolution. <laughs> so, yeah? It's June. Better late than never. Well, hello, beautiful. I thought you were going fishing with Paul. Nope, he canceled on me last minute. He uh, said he doesn't feel well. Well, that's a shame. I know you were looking forward to that. Yeah, I thought about dragging our daughter with me, but uh, I just checked her room. She's not there. Uh, she texted me. She went hiking with Zoe. <laughs> Zoe, hiking. Yeah, trust me, um. I, I said the same thing. Was that Paul's house? Yeah, I saw a couple of cops go over there earlier. He's probably shit-faced again. You remember uh, last summer when he uh, he he was upstairs, he was up on his roof with his shotgun, and, and he was like, what was it? King Kong ain't got shit on me! He's <laughs> such a weirdo. That's why you love me. So, the kid's not here. Should we... Uh... I just got a call from one of our CIs regarding your Vic. Hey, hey, when are you guys gonna let me out of here? Maybe when you stop stealing DVDs from Walmart? They have cameras, Ricky. Listen, I promise you, I'm never, ever, ever gonna steal them again. Just let me out hey, of here. Hey, 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 why don't you just pirate films like everyone else, all right? Save us the trouble of having to pull you in here every goddamn month. Can I at least get my phone call? My mom is gonna be so worried about me. Yeah, well, uh, we'll send somebody right over, Ricky. The phone is right there. You were saying about our Vic. He drove by and he said he saw the car at the scene that night. What else he said? How are you, man? I'm doing well, Detective. It's a shame about Mr. Dyer. Do you have any leads? Well, you know, one of the neighbors said they saw a woman wandering the streets last night. Dark hair, early 20s. Do you happen to recall where Jordan was last night? She was home, actually. She wasn't feeling well. She's been having nightmares. Nightmares? Yes, her college roommate committed suicide. It's taken a real toll on her. Oh, well, when uh, she's feeling better, can you ever give me a call? I, I want to talk to her about the case. Uh, about what, detective? Just, well, it's about the case itself. I'm not sure it will help, but I'll pass it along to her. I'll wake up in different parts of the house. Well, do you want to crash over at Randy's with me tonight? Yeah, why not? Are you sure that won't be a problem for lover boy? <laughs> He'll be fine. Okay, but I have to warn you. If I have a nightmare or end up walking around the house, I might be like hovering over you. <laughs> As fucking creepy as that is, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, not so much when you walk in on Jeff laying naked. Your dad sleeps naked? Ooh, yeah, I wish that was part of the nightmare and not the reality. Thank you. 
For the sake of argument, all horror movies are always the same. What? No. The blonde always dies. Okay. The scarlet whore always gets butchered. And then there's never any guys left to tell about it. Okay. For your information, there are plenty of horror flicks where the guy lives. Name one. Okay. Uh, Lost Boys, for starters. Oh, yawn fest. Give me a good one. Nine. Deuces. I think I'm gonna turn in, Jordan. Oh, don't be stupid. I know exactly where you're going. Mama's got needs, you know? Okay, well, Mama better use protection. I'm on the pill. Works all the time. You say so. No. Don't stay up too late. You've got <laughs> school in the morning. Mm, but Mom. No buts about it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's like you're getting me ready. Oh, go to bed, oh. creep. <laughs> Ah, yes. Yeah. Looks cozy. <laughs> Real cozy. Sandwiches? Fucking Randy! All the spheres that intersect and intertwine with yours. With every breath, lovingly, compassionately, you are pulling a part of yourself with guidance and kindness to bring you to bring you to the field of someone else so many other people in your life and you go into it Oh, oh, oh. 
My beautiful, beautiful daughter suffers from sleepwalking. It's been that way since she was young. I mean, though, back then, we tried everything to control it, but... Jordan has gotten into a few accidents along the way. Well, as a proud, protective parent, I had to protect her and help her along the way. And clean up after her messes. Jordan and I would like to discuss options for her sleepwalking condition. I'm happy to discuss that. How are you doing, Jordan? Fine, thanks. How's the ambient working? That's why we're here. Recently, she's had a slight outburst. Do you remember any of it? No, she doesn't. I'd like to up the dose of ambient for her, Doctor. Dear Jamie. It's no fun being stuck in my head. You deserve better. 
I'm on to better things. I think you should be too. I'll always remember you and the good times. Even when I wake up. Gordon! Are you sure this is what you want? Jordan? My mother knows best. I trust her. <laughs>